Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets on the Wednesday, 15th of June, 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signal to market updates from leading providers. You can download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, US markets, you have the uh, bullish uh, um, momentum from the likes of uh, Asia and uh, obviously the U uh, European markets too, all up almost a percentage point at least, whereas the Shanghai was up 1.6%, shaking off the uh, bearish news with regards to uh, China not being included in the MSCI. Okay, now in terms of uh, the positioning of this market, we have the FOMC obviously today as well, so it's important for us to look at the US dollar. Now the US dollar index on the daily chart at the moment is trying, it, attempting its uh, clawback higher, up to that 127, 128 level uh, and higher. Uh, at present, although the four hour chart is still stuck at the Fib 61% resistance, uh, even with the likes of uh, stronger retail sales yesterday. Now, we have had weaker mortgage application numbers this morning, so again, that will certainly exert some pressure on the US dollar. Uh, now, we do have uh, uh, additional uh, slew of data. We have the likes of uh, obviously the FOMC later on, uh, but we have Empire State BPI, which will be very important out in the next 45 minutes. Okay, industrial production, capacity utilization, and obviously your crude oil stocks as well, which will be quite important. Okay, so in terms of the US dollar, technically at present, it's still it's holding that FIB 75% retracement resistance and previous support equals resistance. So technically, it's certainly doing well uh, and it's holding resistance. But from a fundamental perspective, uh, mortgage applications certainly have put a potential uh, negative spin on things, although it will be interesting to see. How the markets react now brexit concerns certainly are alleviating with european indices are higher this morning so again that may well be an additional factor for the dollar to potentially move lower so again certainly some food for thought okay now in terms of uh, the actual uh, equity market let's look at the uh, positioning of this market at present let's start with the nasdaq at present now the daily chart the nasdaq is it is ha has held a 50 percent retracement uh, as held previous resistance equals support and uh, certainly is looking bullish at the 200 MA. Now you do have an unfilled gap at the 4350 zone given the fact that the Shanghai was up 1.6% overnight it's very unlikely for that to be closed and you are looking at a bullish scenario. Okay now on a 60 minute chart for Nasdaq uh, you're looking to potentially break out this bearish uh, expanding wedge and look to break out to the upside, the upside test out looking at 4480 okay for resistance. With regards to the uh, cross-referencing that with the biotechs, the biotechs hit gap fill support, so therefore looking to potentially bounce as well. Uh, HNS formation has been complete now, so US uh, Nasdaq itself, you are looking for a potential move higher. Okay, folks, uh, you also have gap fill here. Okay, so gap fill in this zone here, and therefore looking to move uh, higher. You do have multiple unfilled gaps above. So those zones will certainly come into uh, importance, folks, so certainly keep an eye on them. Okay, let's see if we can uh, take out a diagonal trend line here. Okay, so we certainly seem to have broken out of this uh, zone here. Okay, so certainly looking to break out, okay? And watch out for the gap above on the biotechs, folks, okay? So from my perspective, Nasdaq certainly remains bullish, okay? Especially with the likes of uh, European data being strong, EU data strong, uh, US data, sorry, uh, the... Um, UK data, wage growth and employment data certainly is coming in stronger, certainly will alleviate concerns from Brexit, okay? Uh, let's cross-reference that with the uh, semiconductors as well, folks. Okay, let's just go to the daily chart first of all of the semiconductors. You're uh, you're back into that previous resistance equals support zone, so you, and you, you, you've certainly put in the doji there. A 60-minute chart, yes, you do have this uh, bear flag formation, so certainly one to be cautious of. But nevertheless, daily chart certainly is indicating support, and therefore now it's not looking to bounce. Okay, in terms of the Dow, uh, the Dow Jones itself, daily chart of the Dow Jones, you certainly have pulled back. Okay, that certainly is the case at present. You've put in a potential bottoming tail here as well. Okay, you do have a horizontal support in this zone here, and therefore looking to potentially bounce. Now, the 60-minute chart, you're clearly, you, you've put in a bullish engulfing candle, so certainly looking to uh, uh, move higher here. Okay, having said that, there is an unfilled gap below that we need to remain vigilant of. Now, the 10-minute chart certainly has put in a base, with China obviously higher overnight, and the European indices certainly looking bullish. Uh, you are looking for a potential attack higher, uh, up to potentially 1,700, 8 to 17,800, okay? So, certainly watch out for 17,800 on the, da on the Dow, okay? But a base, nevertheless, have be has been made at 17,600, okay, on the Dow itself. So, certainly looking bullish from that perspective. 
looking at the Dow Transportation Index, again, uh, you can clearly see here the Dow Transportation Index. You certainly uh, have support down in this region here. Okay, here we go. So horizontal support you are into, okay, at present. Uh, the daily chart, the Dow Transports, again, you've certainly broken out that uh, uh, bearish channel. Uh, but again, nevertheless, uh, you certainly have support in this zone, okay? So support down below on the uh, Dow transportation and therefore looking for a move high in the US markets okay in terms of the Russell now let's bring up the Russell itself IWM okay IWM you can clearly see we've broken out here on the 10 minute chart looking bullish 60 minute chart looking bullish with the 200 MA above broke out the downtrend daily chart at the moment has held up 50 percent uh, doji candles certainly looking to potentially reverse as well and now in terms of the S&P 500 let's bring up the S&P 500 for you're in that bearish channel looking to break out the bearish channel okay looking to potentially short squeeze higher 10 minute chart certainly a base has been built at the uh, 2064 zone and that's a zone that i'll be looking to work off okay upside resistance is seen at 2085 that's the potential uh, upside resistance for today okay i think that's a uh, market wrap folks in terms of um, the uh, summation of u.s markets i can quickly look at the uh, financials for you let's have a look at the financials because the financials certainly have been hammered as of late you can see that we are approaching into gap fill resistance now so certainly looking for a bounce in the financial index okay of the uh, s p energy sector let's look at the energy sector let's see exactly how it's faring again you need to gap fill support folks okay so energy sector certainly into support so the most important indices there both are indicating support looking at the retail sector for the uh, s p 500 you certainly have put in a bottoming tail there although you do have support slightly down below so again that certainly is something to consider consumer staples again on the daily chart certainly into support industrial again potentially into support on the uh, industrial side of things although you do have uh, support ideal support is down below here so again something to watch out for Seems to be oscillating home builders again into potential support as well. Although having the mortgage applications coming weaker, uh, there may well be some pressure earlier on with regards to the mortgage builder or home builders. Okay, industrial consumer discretionary again, same 200 MA doji candle looking to move higher. So everything is indicating higher at present. The bias certainly remains bullish on the US markets. SP 500 2085 potential uh, is your first resistance level, and then after, thereafter, you are, do have resistance seen at 2098 so those are the two zones that we keep an eye out for and, and focus on okay so that's a 60 minute chart again key resistance at 2085 if you breach that and you really are looking at a short squeeze okay folks i think that's a market wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, i certainly take around that 25 percent bonus goodbye now